A few years back, I was exactly where you are now, excited about cybersecurity, but completely lost on how to break into the industry. Fast forward to today, I've landed multiple jobs in cybersecurity, both as an hacker and as an defender, protecting data for some big companies and earning some big bucks in the process. I want to show you exactly how you can land your first job in cybersecurity quickly and without wasting time on things that don't work. So stick around because by the end of this video, you're going to have a clear step-by-step -step game plan for getting into cybersecurity and land your first job faster than you thought possible. Now, this isn't about some fluff theory or outdated advice. I'm going to give you the real deal, the key skills, the right tools, and most importantly, how to get that practical experience that'll make employers want you on their team. But here's the thing, you've got to watch this video all the way through. Seriously, don't skip ahead, don't cut corners. If you do, you might miss the crucial piece that will set you apart from everyone else. Sounds good. Let's dive in. Cybersecurity is exploding right now. Why? Because our digital world is growing like crazy, and so are the threats. There's a huge need for cybersecurity professionals, but here's the thing. Most people aren't willing to put in the effort to actually make it happen. That's where you come in. If you follow the steps I'm about to lay out, you're going to position yourself miles ahead of the competition. Now, I didn't start out with a clear roadmap, and trust me, it cost me time. I fumbled around, trying different things, making mistakes, and trying again. But you don't have to do that because I've condensed everything into this video to give you the fastest track possible. Step 1. Master the basics. Okay, first things first, the fundamental. If you're serious about getting a cybersecurity job, you've got to build a strong foundation. This is where a lot of people stumble. They skip the basics and jump straight into advanced topics. Don't do that. What do you need to start with? Learn how networks work, get comfortable with both Windows and Linux systems. Now, you're you're not going to need every skill under the sun. Cybersecurity is a massive field. There's no way you'll do everything. So start thinking about what excites you. Offensive security? Go down the pen testing and red teaming path. Prefer defending systems? Focus on blue teaming and incident response. But no matter what, the basics, networking, operating systems, command line are non-negotiable. That's your foundation. Once you have it, you're ready to move on to the fun stuff. But where do you even begin? And where should you, as a beginner, start your learning journey? If you care about consuming high-quality, updated, and relevant content, check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity. This program is perfect for anyone serious about entering the cybersecurity field, even if you have no technical background or experience but are looking to pivot into cybersecurity from a non-technical role. Simply Learn's postgraduate program provides professionals with foundational, intermediate and advanced level skills through content from industry-leading certifications. The program begins with an introduction to cybersecurity, Linux training, and CompTIA Network Plus, then progresses to more advanced cybersecurity technologies. The skills covered in this program include advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, network security, risk management, and software development security. This program is designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills needed to excel in the cybersecurity field. You'll gain hands-on experience and practical insights that will make you a valuable asset to any organization. The comprehensive curriculum ensures that you are well prepared to tackle real-world cybersecurity challenges. You can check out learner reviews directly on their website as well as the application process. Simply Learn is reviewed and recommended by Forbes, which you can check out here. Make sure you check when the next cohort starts so that you can get started as soon as possible. Simply Learn have many other courses in cybersecurity, which you can see on the screen here. Thanks to Simply Learn for partnering on this video. I highly recommend you check them out via the link in my description where I have secured you a 10% discount on the program when you talk with the course advisor team. Don't miss this opportunity to advance your career in cybersecurity. Let's talk about one of the most exciting parts of cybersecurity, the variety of paths you can take. The beauty of this field is that there's no one size fits all. You've got a ton of options depending on your interests, skill, and desired paycheck size. So let's break down some of the major paths you can follow. If you're the type who enjoys safeguarding systems and staying one step ahead of attackers, defensive security could be your path. Also known as blue teaming, defensive security professionals are the protectors. They work to defend networks, systems, and data from cyber threats. Some key roles in defensive security include security analysts. These are the guard guardians who monitor and analyze activity on networks, servers, and endpoints for any signs of compromise. SOC teams are often the first line of defense and are constantly on high alert, ready to detect and respond to threats in real time. Incident responder. When something goes wrong, like a data breach, incident responders are the firefighters, jumping in to contain the damage and figure out what happened. Threat hunter. A threat hunter actively searches for hidden threats that may have slipped past security defenses using advanced tools and analytics. Tools you'll likely be using include firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and endpoint security tools. If you're detail-oriented and love working on the front lines of defense, this could be your perfect fit. On the flip side, if you love the thrill of breaking into systems and finding vulnerabilities, offensive security, also known as red teaming or pen testing, could be your jam. In this path, you get paid to think and work like a hacker and help organizations find their weaknesses before the bad guys do. You'll simulate attacks to uncover vulnerabilities in systems, networks, and applications. It's hands-on, dynamic, and constantly evolving. Key roles here include penetration tester, pen tester. This is the classic ethical hacker role. You'll be probing networks and applications to find weaknesses. 
Red Teamer, a step up from pen testing. Red Teamers conduct full-scale attack simulations, working in teams to mimic advanced persistent threats, APT, exploit developer. These experts create custom exploits to break into systems, often building on existing vulnerabilities. Tools like Metasploit, Nmap, Burp Suite, and Wireshark will become your best friends. If you love the challenge of outsmarting systems, breaking stuff, and finding vulnerabilities, offensive security might be the fit for you. If you're more interested in the strategic and regulatory side of things, governance, risk, and compliance, GRC, is a great avenue. This side of cybersecurity focuses on managing risk, ensuring compliance with legal requirements, and setting security policies that align with business objectives. This path is perfect if you are less technical and don't want to dive deep into bits and bytes. Key roles in GRC include Compliance Officer, ensures that the organization is following regulations and industry standards like GDPR, HIPAA, or PCI DSS. Risk Manager, identifies and evaluates risks, then helps develop strategies to mitigate them. Security Auditor, reviews and audits, security policies, procedures, and controls to ensure they're effective and compliant. GRC professionals are essential in highly regulated industries like finance and healthcare. If you're good with policies, frameworks, and balancing business needs with security, this could be your route. As more companies move their operations to the cloud, cloud security has become a highly sought after specialty. Cloud security experts are responsible for securing data and systems hosted on cloud platforms like Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Key roles in cloud security include cloud security engineer, ensures cloud environments are secure by implementing encryption, access controls, and monitoring. Cloud architect, designs secure cloud infrastructures, ensuring all systems are protected against breaches and misconfigurations. DevSecOps, integrates security practices into the DevOps workflow, ensuring secure software development and deployment in the cloud. If you're fascinated by the cloud and how to secure massive, scalable infrastructures, this is where you want to focus. If solving mysteries is more your thing, then digital forensics and incident response, DFIR, could be the path for you. DFIR experts investigate cyber incidents, recover lost data, and piece together how attacks happened. Key roles here include forensic analyst, recovers data from hacked systems, traces digital footprints, and helps determine the root cause of a breach. Incident responder, IR, responds to active breaches, mitigates damage, and preserves evidence for further analysis. Tools you'll be using include forensic software like FTK, in case, and volatility. This path is perfect for those who love deep analysis and figuring out how things went wrong. If you enjoy designing and building security systems, consider becoming a security architect. These professionals design secure networks and systems from the ground up, ensuring all aspects of an organization's infrastructure are protected. Key tasks include designing secure networks, creating systems that are resistant to attacks while meeting business needs, implementing security controls, ensuring that proper security measures like encryption, firewalls, and authentication are in place. Security architects need a deep understanding of both offensive and defensive techniques as they're building solutions that protect against attacks. One of the most important steps that most people overlook but could make all the difference is building a portfolio. As you solve challenges, document your process, write up reports, create GitHub repos, and show off the tools you've built or the vulnerabilities you've discovered. Think of it like your personal cybersecurity resume. Employers want to see that you've got real-world experience, not just theoretical knowledge. A well-crafted portfolio does exactly that. It shows potential employers that you can take what you've learned and apply it in real scenarios. This is going to make you stand out from the crowd. The great thing about cybersecurity is that there's a path for everyone. Whether you're more into coding and exploitation, defending networks, strategic governance, or forensic investigation, there's a role in cybersecurity waiting for you. As you dive deeper into the field, you might start in one area and eventually branch out into others. The key is to pick the path that excites you the most right now and start building your skills in that direction. And remember, whatever path you choose, there's a huge demand for cybersecurity talent. Employers are looking for people who are dedicated, passionate, and have the skills to make a real impact. So choose your path, stick with it, and you'll be well on your way to a fulfilling cybersecurity career.